The National Science Foundation's Advanced Technological Education Program was created to develop highly skilled technicians that are critical to U.S. economic development and national security. The Advanced Technological Education Program, known as ATE, was mandated by Congress in about 1992. It was actually one of the first congressionally mandated programs at the National Science Foundation. Engineering and engineering technology are extremely important to this country. The lines between technologists, technicians, and engineers is a blurry one. Those who are directly involved in the manufacture and in assisting technologists in carrying out those processes are the technicians. Throughout the country, there is an incredible demand for highly skilled technicians. Employers need technicians that can apply engineering and other technologies to solve problems and improve processes and efficiency. ATE supports the education of technicians for the high technology workforce. And we support program development, program strengthening, uh, faculty development, all aspects of, of uh, advanced technological education program. Technicians are the personnel who manufacture things, who run factories, who oversee the development of better products, and that's important for the economic health of the country. ATE offers support through grant funding to help educators prepare technicians for the high technology workforce. What Congress saw was a need within the United States for quality, highly prepared entry-level technicians in a cross-cutting edge industry to really keep the United States competitive and, and at the, really at the cutting edge. So they, they placed community colleges in a leadership role in this program. ATE puts community colleges in the lead. Community colleges, I think, are more flexible than a four-year institution. They can institute courses more quickly. They can look at the uh, changing landscape with the um, industry more quickly and adapt very readily. So they're a lot more flexible and they can institute these technician education programs more rapidly than a four-year institution could. The technician education programs at community colleges are uniquely designed and implemented to meet this workforce need. One of the things that is a tremendous strength of the ATE program is that it, it combines a very rigorous academic background for students. So there, there's a lot of science, technology, engineering, and math in, in the coursework. We do a lot of applied training connected with the academics. So when a student is dealing with math or dealing with science where they may have felt somewhat intimidated by that, we now pull it back together and we show them how we're using math or how we're using physics in the classroom with the hands-on activities. This program here, you can design a part and then you can extrude it. You can draw the entire thing in three-dimensional form. This is a frame for an ROV, remotely operated vehicle. This is going to be going underwater. They're challenged to apply what they're learning in the classroom to the real world, to designing and building a, a vehicle to compete in real world mission tasks. The ATE program is very flexible, very adaptable, and has the ability to really figure out where the workforce needs are today and tomorrow and to address those needs very quickly. Welding is virtually in every industry imaginable. 92% of the manufactured goods have a welded component to them. A technician in the welding industry today you have to have a lot of math and a lot of science background. It's an industry and an occupation that's going to be here for the long term. All the courses intertwine together because you can't have one without the other. They make sure that you understand what you're doing, you know what you're doing before they send you on. Security covers every aspect of computing. Databases, programs running the websites, programs distributing data, Everything needs security. We'll have hacking competitions where we'll have to bring up a network that would represent a typical business, and then we have a team that tries to hack our networks and bring down our business services. We have to keep one step above the criminals. 
And the only way we can do that is if we have students that are going to have a knowledge level and a curiosity and the ability to experiment with things so that they can recognize something that's unusual and be able to take the steps to, to stop something like that. What I'm looking for is students with initiative and ambition and smarts, don't need a lot of direction, can see things and are willing to kind of participate and say, hey, we could do it better this way. All the colleges that we work with have a very focused approach of aligning educational curriculum with industry needs. There's never been a better time to get involved with and benefit from the National Science Foundation's ATE program. For more information, visit nsf.gov.